All right, welcome back, welcome back. Let's see. Let's see if we can touch, um, let's see if we can touch uh, one more story before we get into the main topic of the day. Oh, da, 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 da. Are there any good women left? <laughs> Are there any good women left? Somebody was asking this question, I think it was on TikTok. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Are there any good women left? But let me see if I can. Yeah, let me pull this video up and let's talk about it, right? Shall we? Oh, it's somebody that you guys know because we covered him here before. But let's hear it. Let's hear it. Talking yes. about these modern day women, especially the Western women, they will come out and say, I don't talk about women with respect. Meanwhile, several good women are clicking likes and commenting seriously because all I'm talking about does not apply to them. These modern day women are like birds. Love them, cage them, protect them, feed them, keep them in the house, do all manners of good things for them. They still want to fly away because they have tasted different kind of fruits before you catch them. And that is where the problem lies. Imagine Steve Abe, who is one of the top relationship coach experts we have in the world today. He has divorced twice. He is on the verge of the third divorce now. At the age of 64, the wife Marjorie have five divorce, demanding $200 million from him, being the half net worth of Steve Harvey. Meanwhile, the crazy part is the earlier wives are coming for him, claiming he cheated with Marjorie when he was married to those ones. And that is where the problem lies. I just hope this is not the end of Steve Abbey. And the problem is because he is emotional about these women more than being realistic with them. You can imagine it's Western problem. The same kind of divorce happened to Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Hakimi, Johnny Depp, Ashley Cole, Gerard Piquet. And a whole lot of other great men. Jeda, Jeda PK. If you think deeply Abba. about this divorce, it's linked to two <laughs> causes. Number one, women's right is the freedom to do whatever they want. And they are going to do a whole lot of disgusting things. And number two, divorce is profitable to women. You really need to go and check the top 10 richest women in the world. About eight of them become multi-billionaires through divorce. And that is the system the government creates in the West, destroying great men. For you people living in the West, if you are manipulated to go and sign up under that system, no, you are it's, a marital it's, Jew. It's a lie. You think about it. And that is why the it's Western men are not getting married anymore. Come to think of this. Did you really wonder why this kind of divorce doesn't happen in the Arabian world and the rest of the world? It is because they are fully aware that women are need to show the true side of masculine energy. And that is when she is doing the wrong thing, scold her. If you is doing the right thing, love her, show her affection, praise her. And that is true. But in the West, you dare not show the other side. My dear brother, these are the five moral lessons. I want you to grab in this video. Number one, money cannot buy a woman. It can only attract them. You need to act smart. Number two, sex cannot keep a man. He can enjoy it and still dump you. Your loyalty, your behavior, your empathy will do more than the sex will do for you. Number three, everything that built us are not good. Number four, the women's right is the license for women to do all manners of disgusting things in the West. Think deeply. Number five, this is for you guys living in the West. It is stupid to lose your hard earned money to disloyal woman. And that is why you really need to plan ahead of time. Don't get manipulated to go and get married under Western law or Go and sign up, my dear brother. 
Just pray you are not successful. Once you are successful, you know what is coming for you. Because divorce is profitable to women. Only few of them are good women. Majority of them are product of single mother with no future plan with you. You need to act smart. Be the real man. May God bless you. Not apply to them. All right, all right. So, so let's take it one by one. How much time do we have? We have some time. Okay, let's take it one by one, and then we'll go to the to the final main story of the day. Let's take it one at a time. <sighs> This man is so silly, he's actually funny. I needed a mental break from the mobile issue. Yeah, this one has been sitting on my on my on my drive for a minute. That's why you saw in the beginning, I was like, where's this? Okay, I, I found it. Uh, every right and cockroach on the internet is giving relationship advice. Exactly, exactly. That's why we can't wait till December. That's why, you know we can't wait to december we need to we need to put something better out there okay that's why we that's why we decided to start the pre-launch of the counseling services today uh let's see why would any man not want to be successful because of divorce baba who hurt you <laughs> what about people like us that have to give our husband ex-husbands half of our retirement income you see and there's tons of those stories out there you know this is why we have to bring it out to individual level you know but let's let, let let's let's just get through it one by one let's see likes and commenting seriously because all i'm talking about wait, wait, wait. when we are talking about these modern day women especially the western women they will come out and say i don't talk about women with respect Me so they will say you don't talk about women with respect this is a real reason why they are saying that when when uh, a few lame men, all my brothers that are here are not lame, but it's a lot of my brothers. Numbers are increasing. Shout out to all the brothers that are always listening behind the scenes. Um, when when the few of them that we block every now and then here, when they come here and they and they start yanning up butter, right? If they say I, I take it, you know that's their perspective. It is what it is. The reason why they are saying you talk with disrespect is because that's how they feel and if enough people are saying that you gotta stop paying attention to that right if enough men are saying i don't have empathy for men i gotta stop paying attention to that if enough women are saying wait wait wait, you're, i have to pay attention to that because at the end of the day while i'm here is i want to actually help not just go viral right but of course it went viral because it's on the extreme of everything he's saying including lies let's continue why several good women are clicking likes and commenting seriously because all i'm talking about does not apply to them exactly also because they haven't been on the flip side <laughs> of what you are talking about right the only thing they can see is common sense there's a lot of common sense women that are checked from time and says no you're wrong you're wrong that's not how it works when it comes to emotions right so of course some of them are going to end up and say ah this man is telling the truth he's an elderly man women too should like, like listen women too they do a pattern nothing the direction that the world is moving is the direction is moving you can call it devolving or evolving it's completely up to you but that's the world you're living and you better know how to adjust if you don't know how to adjust if you confuse that with conforming you will collect yeah, let's continue these modern day women are like birds. Love them, cage them, protect them, feed them, keep them in the out. Do all This is the part where you guys say, why cage anybody, right? It's like you already said cage. It's like no wonder you're getting the result that you're getting. Even the language, even the words that you're using, right? So let's even say you don't mean what you mean. Well, most people think you mean what you mean. So when they respond how they respond, <laughs> it's what it is right like yeah well that's their problem no 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 this is your problem because that's how that's what you're creating this content from people are already accusing you of being disrespectful you collect let's continue all manners of good things for them they still want to fly away because i like i said on the first episode i said i know what he's trying to say we do have a saying right that women are like cats men are like dogs right wherever you put a dog is where they stay 
but it depends on what you're talking about depending on the context too right when they say women are like cars that means they like to come and go as they please right and if you're able to provide that they will tend to stay with you more just like cats right they will come home they will come but they will stay home more if you let them co go and come as they please but if you try to like you said put them in a cage <laughs> like a dog obviously that's not gonna work out right i know what he's trying to say but again your choices of words it's like do you just want to satisfy your obsession with being right or you actually want to learn the message they have tasted different kind of fruits before you catch them and that is where the problem that's fear mongering okay there's a young impressionable young man mind that just saw that video and said yeah yeah of course it's just my turn it's just my turn she's not mine it's just it's, she's not yours it's just your turn <laughs> it's like i knew it i knew she was cheating on me well i need a dna test <laughs> like about don't joke yourself you know but if you need a DNA test, go and do it, okay? <sighs> I know what he's trying to say. The choice of words are all over the place. He's not going to help anybody. There's a bunch of people, lame people, that will tag on to what he's saying and think is truth because it's on the extreme. Them lies. Imagine Steve Abe, who is one of the top relationship coach experts we have in the world today. He has divorced twice. He is on the right of the third divorce now. All right, so this was the rumor that was being pushed around about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, that Steve Harvey is about to divorce and stuff like that. That's what he basically tagged along on, and he's pushing that as the truth right now. Because why? Because it aligns with what he's trying to say. <laughs> At the age of 64, the wife Marjorie had five divorce, demanding $200 million from him. Being <laughs> so this baba is pushing fake news with all food, with full chest <laughs> with all confidence let's continue right now there's no way for him because of if you look at his mindset it, for me from the get-go i knew that this is all false it just doesn't line up with the limited information that i have it doesn't line up that there's a divorce going on she's seeking 200 million dollars because it's worth 400 million that doesn't make any sense by default because just because it's worth net worth 400 million dollars just doesn't mean that she's going to be seeking 200 million dollars but of course these people it sounds good let's just run with it right but from the get-go of that news it was obvious to me it's the same thing with uh, jada pinkett and uh, will smith it was obvious to me that these people are going to be together and people are going to keep fantasizing about, about them separating does that mean they will never separate i didn't say that i didn't say that anything is possible but it's not likely <laughs> right let's continue they have net worth of steve Harvey. meanwhile the crazy part is the earlier wives are coming for him claiming he cheated with marjorie when he was married to those ones and uh, uh, why is this baba happy about that why because the man is a simp let's throw him under the bus because he's a simp right feminine man Feminine men everywhere, man. Yeah. That is where the problem lies. I just hope this is not the end of Steve Abbey. And the problem is because he is emotional about these women more than being realistic with them. What does that even mean? What does being emotional about these women more than being realistic? What does that even mean? I wonder what that means to him. Like, Baba, if you say somebody is emotional more than being realistic, uh, what do you mean exactly? Like, the fact that he listens more than just shooting nonsense at them, I be mean, the fact that he's he's emotionally aware that human beings are emotional. Which one of it is emotional, right? Because the reality actually is that human beings are emotional right men or women right that's actually the reality right so when he says realistic versus emotional i like is he a confused person you can imagine it's western problem the same kind of divorce happened to bill gates jeff bezos the same kind of divorce did not happen to bill gates and jeff bezos they were, those were some of the most peaceful divorce ever because money is not the problem of these people all right and when you get to some level where money is not your issue first of all you don't think like a typical man anymore uh you probably travel all the time you probably spend 
three days together in any given month. Um, yeah. And there's no there's no alignment between what Steve Abbey has with Marjorie and those people. But uh, I'm trying to see what the point is. The, the only point I can make out of that is that, listen, money is not, which he made, he did make that point, and he's right about that. Money is not the solution to some of these relationship problems. He's right about that part. Let's continue. Akimi, Johnny Depp. Did he just say Akimi? Another fake story. <laughs> Let's just put that in there. <laughs> Johnny Depp is real. Slico, Jerapike. <laughs> Jerapike. Uh, anyway, that's not our language. Let me leave that alone. People want Steve Harvey's marriage to go bad so bad. But why? Because it will align with their bias. That's why. That's why. All right, a lot of people are struggling. That's a that's an indication that a lot of people are struggling with relationships. So if another one breaks up, it's confirmation that it's not just them. They're not crazy. That's why. That's a major reason. Um, if you're in a relationship with your wife, you better be emotionally involved with your wife. No, he said be realistic. <laughs> Man, I wonder how he's marrying his wife, wives, though. Get a pick. <laughs> May God forgive you, Chie. And a whole lot of other great men, if you think deeply about this divorce, is linked to two causes. Number yeah. one, tell us. Women's right is the freedom to do whatever they want, and they are going to do a whole lot of disgusting things. That's not what women's right is about. <laughs> Who's going to tell him now? <laughs> That's not what women's rights is about. That's the misinterpretation of some women and the men that buys into it like himself. Right? But that's not what women's rights, that's not what feminism is about. Um, that There might be some waves that, that they are running cuckoo and stuff, but it doesn't matter. But he said women's rights. That's not what women's rights is about. Women's rights is about women having equal rights like another human being, like having rights, okay? Having rights in society, at workplace and stuff like that, right? Uh, when it comes to romance, it's a little tricky, right? But that's something we can assess. We can have a conversation about that, right? But that's not the reason. The reason you cannot point fingers at terminologies and phrases and even marriage or social media. You can't do that. You live in this society where these things are happening. It's your responsibility to engage education, wise counsel, learn how it works in today. Some people have figured something out. But what do you do? You wish that their story becomes just like yours. As opposed to they know something. I need to learn everything that they know with respect to my personal story right because everybody is unique everybody's different they have different stories unique stories everywhere cultures religion and all this kind of stuff it's case by case by case but what do we do tiktok is giving some money out let's just go and generalize up there and have some lame people following us for saying the truth let's continue and number two Divorce is profitable to women. You really need to go and check the top 10 richest women in the Divorce is not profitable to anybody. Divorce is highly, extremely expensive. It's the most expensive experience you will ever have. It will drain you financially, it will drain you emotionally, it will drain you spiritually. And God helps you if you come out on the other side and be able to do life again even all by yourself it's a struggle right but baba said somebody is profiting from divorce. the only people profiting from divorce is the courts the government because they will charge you fees here and there and the lawyers are also profiting from divorce okay those are the people profiting from divorce everybody involved in that family especially the children they will collect with the auto on paper, it might seem like they got some kind of money. That money will finish, especially if they got that money and they didn't work for it. <laughs> that money will finish. Uh, that money that you said Jeff Bezos gave to the wife because she was involved in the business, she'll be fine. But if she's not involved anyway in how that money was made in the first place, she will lose all that money. Money is not your mate. Money is like energy, it's like emotions, it follows values, right? But of course, lames would think, oh, she got all that money. He was worth 200 billion dollars so she got 100 billion dollars baba 
Like somebody said earlier, you're yearning or bata. You don't know what is going on. You have no idea how life works. At the very least, maybe you need to go back to English class. Okay? I'm not even the best at English. I had 6-6. Six, six. But come on. You got to learn how to land your points. Uh, you know. Or at least leave some room to have conversation with people so they can correct you. Remember yesterday when I said abuse and I was thinking the other end, you guys helped me here, right? Nobody knows it all, <laughs> right? That's something I actually knew, but I, well, imagine somebody who's actually speaking with all full confidence and using words that are just all over the place and, 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 and wrapping it all up and mixing it up with fake news, right? Mm. Where, and imagine a bunch of people following that, thinking that they found something. And then we're surprised that people are suffering in relationships. I'm not surprised. I'm not. Okay. What about eight of them become multi billionaires through divorce? And that is the system the government creates in the West, destroying great men. For you people living in the West, he's advocating for us, man. Shout out to him for advocating for men. I'm a man, so shout out to him for that. That's like shout out to all the women who also advocate for, for men. But, gentlemen, these people will not help you. Hey, hey, hey. If you think these people are going to help you, you will see Shege. <sighs> you have no idea what's coming for you. If you think these people will help you, okay? If you are manipulated to go and sign up, under that system, you are in marital jail. You need to think about it. And that is why the Western men. So there's fear mongering, marital jail, right? If a man is already struggling, or he feels like he's collecting Shege from his woman, right he doesn't know what he's doing usually that's what the issue is right and you know and then he hears this man now says marita jail right he's going to be able to relate and say ah utomani it's true i mean marita jail let me hear more of what this guy say yes western woman oh my god i'm stuck right when you start operating from that place where you feel stuck you're not operating from he's successfully done his job which is fear mongering and then the next point of actions you have is going to follow that same line, right? You will just, and then you start noticing you collect more and more. There might be some soothing feelings from listening to him temporarily, but you will continue to collect in your long term, from mid to long term, because, you know, it aligns, you know, you know, you already concluded that it's not just you. It's not just that you don't know what you're doing. It must be other people's fault. It must be other other entities fault other things fault anything else you can point finger like western world marriage now is there some dynamics about the western world that you need to pay attention to when it comes to marriage as opposed to living in ondo like that woman we covered that story earlier yes there are some okay but it's not uh it's not what you think it's not what this man is telling you when he's generalizing on tiktok it's not okay because it's a good time you're modernized too. You're a modern person. You live in a modern world. So it's an oxymoron at best when you start pointing figures at anything modern, western. You're like You want to enjoy everything western, but you don't want to do the work to adjust accordingly with respect to where it might be affecting other areas of life. That's, that's, are you, like, that's, that's like, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. That's basically witchcraft. No be juju be that. It's impossible. It's impossible. You live in a Western world, you live in a modern world. So it makes sense that how things are shifting is shaking things up. The question is that do you know what you're doing? Do you have you paid attention to see how it might affect how you might need to pivot? Like you do in business, like anything else in life. Right? No, 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 no. Let's go back to 1960 and do it like 1960. Who told you that it was better in 1960? The problems are everywhere. Either in Ondo or in Yankee. The problems are everywhere. I cover the story precisely for that reason later on. When you both people two are collecting, the next story I'm going to cover is about that. Left and right, the issues are everywhere. I'm not getting married anymore. Come to think of this. Wait, wait, wait. Now, what did he say? I'm married at jail. You need to think about it. And that is why the Western men are not getting married anymore. The Western men are getting married. Okay. 
If there's a sector that's not getting married, that same similar sector who don't know what they're doing, who are blaming everything else for their trauma, for their problems, they are also in Nigeria. They are also not getting married. Okay? Nobody wants them. Ouch. I know. Ouch. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nobody wants them. If somebody makes them feel validated enough and they want that person, they will sign those papers. Literally. In a heartbeat. The simping then will come right to the surface. They will sign, they will sign paper without paying attention to this person they are signing with. Maybe that person is very good at soft voice, sounding off feminine on the internet. They will marry that person before they start to see real life shaggy again, <laughs> just like everybody else. <laughs> because the thought is simple. Some of them are running to Brazil, want to go to Ghana, go to Uganda. Go and find feminine women. <laughs> I have a suggestion, suggestion for you. Go to Ondo Town. <laughs> Come to think of this. Did you really wonder why this kind of divorce doesn't happen in the Arabian world and the rest of the world? Another fake news. He's pushing everything. He's been listening too much to Manosphere from the woods of Obomosho. Where is it? Let me see. I'm trying to see the background. He might be in Yankee somewhere, but this man's mind is in Obomosho. His mindset is stuck in the boomer show. <laughs> His mindset is stuck in the boomer show. He can't help it, but he's watching, he has data. Wherever he's at, he has enough data, he's watching the man as well, he's repeating their talking points using traditional Yoruba English language. And of course, a bunch of names are following that. But I'm here for it. Whenever I see anything funny like this, I'll bring it. It is because they are fully aware that women are need to show the two side of masculine energy. The two side of masculine energy. This is trying to adjust masculine energy to fit his rhetorics. And watch, he's gonna try it right now. He's gonna try. And that is hey, when Matthew. he's doing the wrong thing, scold her. If you is doing the right thing, love her, show her. So if he's doing the wrong thing, you scold her. If he's doing the right thing, you love her, right? All right, there's a difference between scolding and correction, okay? I'm not talking about dictionary meaning either, okay? There's a difference between, there's a difference between, there might be even a nicer word than correction, right? Okay, because if you're coming off as you're correcting, correcting, correcting to, yeah, basically the same reason why you were attracted to that person you will be you you end up resenting them okay because they want you to be yes homie lovers and friend they're your friend they're your homies but you know let me call let me let's, let's go do you scold your homies if your homie is doing something wrong what do you do do you scold them right if your lover is doing something wrong what do you do do you scold them right if your friend is doing something wrong, what do you do? Do you scold them? Okay, right. Where we're coming from in Nigeria, the Nigerian traditional background, even in the South here, right? When your children do something wrong, you take out the whip and the switch and you show them shaggy, right? That's what that sounded like. You know, but, but you know, we're not emotional people. You know what I mean? No, we don't know what you mean, bro. Majority of people don't know what you mean, bro. It's only lame people that will be able to relate to what you're talking about because they are collecting shige and they're trying to figure it out, but they keep going to the wrong places for solutions. So no, you can't scold. Like I wouldn't want my wife to, a lot of women do that. They scold their husband and they too, they collect. They don't know how to talk to their husband like a homie, a lover, and a friend. A lot of women make the same mistake. It's just that that's usually mixing with she's angry, she's upset, so like might be no you know. But a lot of women do that too, and it's still just as wrong. It's you're disconnected from the fact that this is supposed to be a romantic relationship, and clearly you are terrible at communication skills, effective communication skills. So when you see that your own communication style is not working, you settle for scolding. Let's take out the switch. And it's actually worse when it's a verbal switch. Don't know how to talk to your partner, your romantic partner precisely. 
So when that person loses their cool and they start talking at you, start calling each other names, you now come to the internet and say, yeah, but that's all I did. I just tried to correct her. This woman are just more than you can't do correction anymore. No, you don't know how to talk. Just like this Baba is demonstrating right here on the internet. Scold her. Mm, okay, good luck with that. Okay, listen to me carefully. He can scold you from TikTok. If you take it back to your house, you will collect. Man or woman, you will collect. Okay. And that's if you're lucky. Okay. That's if you're lucky. If you're actually not lucky, <laughs> you'll sit down there in that and you'll be showing each other emotional shaggy. And you'll still be disconnected from reality, which is emotions. You don't know how to manage your own emotions. How can you manage another person's emotions? You have no emotional self-control. You can't you can't you can't be in a marriage okay or anything long-term relationship okay you might even be a fine person you attract everything you want everybody wants you but they don't they don't last <laughs> because eventually your true self will show up Affection. praise her and that is true he's mixing it with uh praise her so that you can sound like it makes sense he's doing the balance thing let me balance it so that oh this is what the language like let's balance it so it makes sense all right on paper on video this makes sense in reality it does not make sense okay what she will remember for the most part is the what did the tongue lashing that's all she will remember the experience is what she remembers okay and if it's negative it carries more weight uh welcome to the real world this is human beings okay if it's negative in how in how she sees it or he sees it that's what carries more weight that's all they remember that's all that's what we take over and the reality is that there were some good times, but that's not how the human brain works. You have to be extremely intentional to remember the good times when there's a healthy amount of negative vibes going on. Uh, you don't have to do much work. You remember that. You don't have to do much brain work. You just remember the negative experiences. That's just how it works. That's the reality. Okay? And if you think otherwise, you have unrealistic expectations and you too will collect. He's doing the right thing, love her, show her affection, praise her. And that is true. But in the West, you dare not show the other side. Masculine energy is a moving target. But what we know that it does, overall, okay? okay for what it is is cool calm and collected that's number one it's not about you can't correct your wife you can correct your wife but if you're coming off as if you're using manipulative methods and controlling behavior particularly if she receives it that way forget your intentions your intentions go need to more if she receives it that way your own wife if she receives it that way right if she receives a manipulative uh and you can't figure that out and you run to the internet and say she's just modern woman that's your feminine energy crying out loud just so you know Shy! that's just your feminine energy and you know you are collecting shiggy from a woman it is what it is she doesn't feel safe she's gonna attempt to protect herself it's just how it works okay so that's number one so it's cool calm and collected it provides safety security you provide the seed the masculine energy sets the tone the feminine energy makes a home out of it that's the way it works they said these two sides he's trying to make it black and white what do we know about black and white black and white when it comes to especially romantic relationships <laughs> yeah it doesn't add up all right so it started to do the two sides the two sides is that you get angry with your wife and scold her the other side is that you know no the the, the side of that masculine if it's anything at all is when you're sure of yourself you don't need to use you don't need to use uh, manipulative you don't need to use manipulative and controlling behavior uh, 
uh, controlling tactics. You don't have to use. You're too sure of yourself. Okay, you bring safety, security, structure, order. Your presence brings that, not your mouth. Your mouth. You don't need to. If you're you having to use your mouth to bring masculine energy, you're overworking yourself. It's not sustainable. Okay, and it's a lie at best. You're lying to yourself. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? They can sniff you out. <laughs> okay, and these modern women, oh yeah, they will show you shiggy. Hey! Quick, hey! Quick, hey! Quick, hey! Yo, Yo me, nigga. In including the one that calls themselves traditional, especially them, the one that call themselves traditional, especially the one that are making TikTok videos. Okay, just wait until you start sleeping with them in bed. That's when you will see. <laughs> you don't know women. <laughs> oh, beauty. Let's continue. This Baba has he has no idea. He think he can use his mouth to control control women. My dear brother, these are the five moral lessons I want you to grab in this video. Number five, one, five moral lessons. Money cannot buy a woman. That is a fact. I agree with him on that. The, the way he made the case down here is all garbage but money cannot buy a woman temporarily yes temporarily yes okay but you know you get the gist it can only attract them you need to act smart okay he's he got two, one thing right sex cannot keep a man he can enjoy it and wait i thought the lesson was for brothers <laughs> by the way gentlemen is he telling the truth? Some of you, sex, sex can keep you around for a long time and you don't know how to... You don't have any self-value because you're getting good sex. You don't know how to say, no, no, I don't, no, no, I don't want that baby. Right? Because you're afraid that somebody will take those sex away. Yeah. Is he telling the truth? Okay. This Baba is confused. The second tip is for a woman and the first tip is for a man. Okay. Maybe for everybody. Let's continue. Still dump you. Your loyalty, your behavior, your empathy will do more than the sex we do for you. Number three, everything that guilt us are not good. Number four, On point. the women's right is the license for women to do all manners of disgusting things in the West. This is also insinuating that women don't have willpower. This is where they fail. Okay, they do, okay. Just FYI you know uh, it's just the woman's right never mind how she was raised never mind all the other values religious value cultural value that she brings to the table just like you some of them even lacking the skills and the game to stay in a relation with a man too right never mind all of that it's just the women's rights that will cause problems about you're blaming the internet for your problems that's you know you know your or your that's your responsibility the internet women's rights equality particularly outside of romantic relationships it's not going anywhere it's the reality of the world you live in and the the, the earlier you can pivot the better experience you will have in this life and it's actually going to be worse for you if you keep confusing that with conformity let's continue think deeply number five this is for you guys living in the west it is stupid us. Us. so lose your heart and money to disloyal woman and that is why you really need to plan ahead of time that means operate out of fear look for red flags everywhere you have a book coming out called the number one red flag okay start looking for red flag everywhere right <laughs> and then he said they're no longer mine because they're scared shitless okay they're scared i want to make this is how they say, they say i want to make sure i just want to make sure that bruh no, you don't. Okay? You're just not hot in this marketplace. Nobody's tickling your fancy in that much. Okay? And the ones that are at your level, that are vibrating with you at that level, you say you know what? Because they come off as masculine. Well, because they feel they need to protect themselves. But they still show interest in you now, but you say no, you don't want masculine women. You want the one that's preaching to you on the internet, that's pandering to you on the internet right that one doesn't want you either because she can smell that you're weak ouch maybe i'm fear-mongering myself too maybe don't get manipulated to go and 
get married under Western law or go and sign up, my girl. So the major problem, the major problem with relationships is people not knowing how to handle crisis. It's not you know everybody are very quick to say did you not see this did you ignore the signs like everybody who is in love ignore signs that's two get two everybody that's equal across the board so that's not the issue if it's equal across the board that becomes not the issue okay Every, anyone who is in love they're not ignoring signs they can't see signs they're in love the issue is mainly when people end up in inevitable crisis, they don't know how to handle it. So the people he's preaching into right now, they're already married and they can't, they don't want to escape. They want to keep their home together. Some of them are confused. Like, ah, I shouldn't have married, but I'm married, but I love marriage. But I, some of them are in love with marriage, but they resent a part of them who is, that is in love with marriage. So they're confused at best, right? But they will keep coming back and keep watching. So the engagement is high. So Baba will blow up on TikTok. Okay. These are the issues. Brother, just pray you are not successful. Once you are successful. How do you pray that you're not successful? Because you're scared of women? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> pray that you're not successful because of women. Not modern women. They're all modern women, by the way. Pray that you're not successful. Imagine. Imagine if you treated your business, your career that way. You're just afraid. Hmm? Imagine that. You know what is coming for you. Because divorce is profitable to women. Only few of them are good women. Majority of them. If only few of them are good women. When I don't enter one chance be that. No be so. So all the advice he gave before must be useless. If only few of them are good women. A product of single mother with no future plan. Ah, evil single mother collects stray bullets. Huh. This mouth. Anyway, why you da? Oh my days, you are to your love. I didn't even hear the part, that part in the first time. <laughs> you, you need to act smart. Be the real man. May God bless you. All right, let's just leave this bye bye alone. Let me come to the chat really quickly and then so we can go to the last story of the day. We're gonna end on time, by the way. Uh, shout out to you, Latu. Welcome, Latu. Um, <laughs> we kept people everywhere. Then that person will show them Shige. Yes, yes. If you don't have the skills, you will call that Shige. Shige, there's free Shige everywhere. Everywhere, there's free Shige everywhere. Especially if you don't know what you're doing, you will collect shege. A uh, romantic relationship is not anybody's mate. It's uh, it ruffles feathers. When you are doing any collaborative effort with human beings, it will create friction. So when you mix that up with the emotions that come with a typical romantic relationship, and when you have two people try to lead at the same time, or you have no one leading, oh, it's a completely bad idea, right? She's not a child. You're scolding. Correct them with love. Mm. Yeah, you could correct with love, right? You correct with love. That takes a. In fact, sometimes when you correct with love, your wife can tell that you are trying to come from an angle. She can smell it. She knows you very well. She knows that you're trying to love, but she knows what you're trying to do because probably the first time you're trying to correct with love. She can sniff it out, and now your patience has been tested. <laughs> can you sustain that moment? <laughs> right. Can you yeah it's a moving target i keep telling you it's a moving target it's not common sense will not help you in any of this okay what will help you is coaching i said coaching practice 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 anything you do in less than 90 days you can't change your bad habits your bad habits are your bad habits that means all of us right our bad habits you can't change it unless you're engaged in new practices extremely for every time you you skip a step you go back six months you start all over again nine months 10,000 hours not 10 10,000 hours okay like anything else in life that's worthwhile right but no 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 that's just right that one is wrong we're all wrong all of us <laughs> shout, shout out and she said it's wrong I don't know what she's saying is wrong Oh, if you scold your grown wife, it will not be received well. Somebody says wrong. Tongue lashing. Yeah, that's even worse. That's actually worse. That's what they call verbal abuse, right? 
It's actually worse because at least, yeah, none of it is good. <laughs> Let's just say that. We can see right through him. And these are the type of old men they are schooling these boys. Yeah. Negative wipes off all the wonderful times. Unfortunately, that's the reality of how our brain works. That's the reality. Okay. So the only thing we can do about that is first of all, be aware. Number two, learn some new skills. Okay. Gratitude. A lot of gratitude. Lots of gra Like as much as we hear gratitude in church, we're ingrates. Be clear. Human beings are ingrate. Okay? It's never enough. <laughs> okay? So, it's not just a thing of 2023. It's just magnified because the social media and it's getting worse, you know. But it's human behavior. Okay? It's human behavior. <sighs> Intentions down in the water. water. A lot, they will fight you for calling it feminine energy. It's Feminine energy. Feminine energy is chaotic. It's chaotic, especially when you try to mix it with other feminine energy. It's just, yeah, it's going to be fireworks everywhere. It's chaotic. You know, feminine energy is a beautiful thing. You know, have you ever seen beautiful fireworks, right? That's because somebody is sitting down so and said that it's beautiful, right? Right? But if it's being done and the city is not aware of, you know, the city was like, no, 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 you can't do that. We need to know when you're doing that because if it goes out of control, <laughs> you will see Shege. <laughs> That's women. <laughs> All right. She said, occurring. <laughs> go, go to the beast platform to hear occurring. <laughs> He did all this messia and came in the end and gave some points that are disjointed from the ridiculous point he was making. We can see through it. All right? And guess what? Remember the human mind remembers all the negative stuff more? The, the point is given which money cannot buy. The men that resonates with that video more, they still won't listen to that. Many of them are paying some girl's school fees and that girl doesn't like them right now as we speak. And that girl is telling him in all types of ways that I don't like you like that. But if you want to spend money, yo, you know, feel free. But it's like maybe I have a chance. And then tomorrow you wake up in the morning, then he hates himself. He resents it all over again. Just like the video is disjointed, that's how their life is disjointed. At least when it comes to romantic relationships. Many of these people are very smart people. Doctors, lawyers, as professionals engineers software engineers it many many of them are okay let's not get it twisted okay i respect a lot of these people when it comes to their professional life but when you bring it down to a romantic relationship is like you know and it's very confusing because they're like they're very smart people so you're like i know what i'm talking about yeah but your results are disjointed Anyway, let's continue. Ola, that's not how to live, man. Well, some of these men see women as brainless. Yeah, that's confusion because now they want to have sex with women. That's where the confusion is coming from, right? After pandering to you, they will show you Shigi. Yes, yes, precisely. Precisely, okay? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So they are good men now. Women continue. Listen, uh, we'll keep talking about it. Let's get into um, let's get into the last story of the day. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish on time actually. Okay. Let me see here. What's going on here? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> 